Good morning, guys. Right now it's maybe 6 30. We are waiting for shooting. Guys, it is so cold. My hands are frozen. Right behind me over here is where I shot my mule deer last year. Came over here right before we got to where I actually shot. We bumped a doe and another deer. And then I got to where I shot my deer. And I, saw, I bumped two more. I only saw the one behind. It was a doe. But uh, what happened is my cousin, he's going this side. And I'm going to go down here like this. And we'll make a loop and meet each other at the end over there. First morning, first light, already into deer. Let's hope I can get some cool footage for you guys. I was just walking on this trail right here. You see? This guy's at least a three point. You can see the fork right here. Might be a four by four this year. If it wasn't a little chewed up, I'd definitely bring it, but since there's really no point in this, I'll just leave it right where I found it right on the road or the little trail So what you guys just saw there is saw two deer. I, di I didn't see the first one, but the second one was a big doe. 
I saw the big doe. She was just jumping up and I pulled out the cam for her. I started recording and she literally disappeared behind a tree and just vanished. I didn't see her go anywhere else. It's literally like she just went behind a tree and boop, she's just gone. So, seen a lot of does. My cousin saw a two by two, but it's not what we're looking for. So I am about to approach the open country. So I'm gonna come out to the opening, see if a deer wants to sunbathe. And so, my bags, I just decided to sit down because I haven't sat. I've been basically hiking all today. So I'm just gonna probably eat a granola bar or something real quick. My trail cam is just right down there. We'll go check it. I freaking love these things, dude. <laughs> you can see so clear with them. And obviously it's one of the lower end binoculars, but I think for the price, you can't beat it. This is the Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42. All right. Approaching my little water hole. Came from up there. <laughs> right here, bro. Let's look at the trail cam pictures. All right, I just got done checking my trail cam. So a little bit of deer activity, but I didn't see a single legal deer. The biggest one was like a 2x2 two two that was like that big, like this. And there was a funky looking spike. The only thing that, or the only two things that I could have shot was a coyote and a big black bear. So, who knows, that black bear might still be around here somewhere. Trail cam is set back up. Time to start walking and hunting again. Yes! <laughs> I've been hiking all day, basically all day by now. All late morning. <sighs> No deer, no grouse. So basically, I came I came a long way, basically behind these trees. I basically just been sidelining the hills, the mountains. And I don't know about you guys, but when I find sheds, I get pretty pumped, man. So earlier I found a shed, right? But it was kind of chewed up. Bam! Perfect, perfect little forked horn. And you can see it's it's not chewed up at all. Pretty fresh. Bam! I don't see deer, but I'm, I find sheds. Shoot, I'm okay with that. I was walking on that trail right there, and I looked down. It was kind of, it was kind of poking up like this. I was like, that's a weird looking stick. I'm gonna put this on my backpack, and we're gonna go over there. Came like 50 yards. You guys can see, I'm looking over there. I should have kept that shed I found earlier in the day so that I can rattle. Yeah right now I don't know man. It just doesn't seem like there's a lot of deer. Guys I don't know if you guys can tell but it is snowing. I hope you guys can like kind of see those those flakes. We might get to do a mule deer hunt tomorrow in fresh snow. That'd be pretty dope. I've been hiking for so long it doesn't feel like it's cold but I guess if it's to the point where it can snow it's pretty it's pretty cold I came from over there she was like right there stopped right here she slowly trotted away Alright, so I, I just saw that doe go over here and then I, I was just scanning these wide open spots, right? And I looked over there, I was like, oh, that looks a little weird. But at the same time, looking at a clear eye, it looked didn't look like a deer. And then I was like, ah, whatever, I, I was going to come and sit at this little vantage point, if you're willing to call it. And so I was like, ah, I'll sit there first. I sit down, I literally pull the binos up, I look. I was like, that's the head of a deer. Oh, there's another one. There's one right there. I literally just glassed up another deer like 20 yards above that deer. So I'm just gonna stay here 
And I'm just gonna glass because right now, like you guys see right there, like the deer, they're bedded. They're not moving. So I'm just gonna stay out here and see if a big buck wants to come out and play. All right, all right, buck spotted. Oh, dang it. There was a buck right there. They went down. Dude, I just, I just saw a buck. There was a gunshot way over here. And I looked and there was like two bodies just standing over there. Cause at first, I was like, that wasn't there. I pulled the binos up. Sure enough, it was two deer. And then one of them, I think it was a doe, but one of them, you could just see the rack up here. And then I was like, oh, it's a buck. And then I grabbed my camcorder and I tried to zoom in. And then because it's on the tripod, I mean, the footage was just kind of shaking and then it just went down here, so. the does that I was looking at I all just went over that hill something spooked and they were they weren't taking any chances and they went over I don't know if it was just my uncle my cousin or if there's something else that I can't see yet let's hope it's a big buck all right so it got a little cold so what I decided to do was leave that spot and come over to the, the ridge that the the does were on the reason why I wanted to come back over here is because earlier I saw the buck at the at the very end of the ridge. So I just wanted to get a bigger, better look at him. He didn't seem that big, but he could be there could be a bigger buck with him. Earlier I was up here behind this, and the does were better right there. So opening day, I've had a blast so far. I didn't even plan on shooting my big boy right here because. I didn't expect to see a big buck. It can go the other way in an instant. So yeah, I was right up here when I glassed the does over here. All right, so you guys can see I'm right sitting right behind this little, like whatever you call this. And so it is super steep right here. So I gotta be careful not to slip or fall because that would be pretty brutal. But I got a little friend you know, like a lot of hunters I've seen, usually whatever animal they run into the most, that's what they name themselves after, like pig man, you know, and stuff like that. I should call myself the cow man, because everywhere I go, there just seems to be a cow. But what I'm planning to do right now is I'm just gonna sit here, and usually what deer like to do is deer like to come out in these little open fields during the, during the evening, and so. Early, I saw the does just right on top of me, right here, and I saw the buck, he went down in here, and so, uh, back in 2014, you can see this little, right there, right here, I was actually right there, and I shot across that valley, and killed my first ever mule deer, so, I'm back in the same spot, and so, let's hope they come out to play. Alright, so I'm just here casually eating a cliff bar next to a cow and so 
for you guys it's probably been it's just like cutscenes and cutscenes and it seems like the same things over and over and over but dude between these clips like the interval between i'm recording these clips dude it's like 20 minutes to like maybe even an hour to an hour 30 minutes you know but for you guys it's just cut 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 to me it's like film wait a long time film again so i was just glassing you guys can see the cross i decided to just eat my clip bar and glass at the same time <laughs> i glassed up a, a dough she's probably maybe around a thousand or mm, maybe a thousand yards I, i'd say but the deer coming out because i've glassed her in this very open spot so deer coming out so let's stay quiet guys so this is a uh a water tub for the uh ranchers or farmers who leave their cows up here you guys can see this this is just ice that's how cold it is it's below freezing this is like you could literally a woman break you guys see that i have to do that just to poke a hole it's probably about an eighth of an inch thick these foot of these ridges hold a lot of deer. Why? Because of this. What the freak? in the world Okay um in the world all right i gotta go find that grouse okay so if you guys followed my vlog from last year me and this thing right here do not get along so this thing is sighted in my dad sighted in this gun and he shoots just fine with this gun for some reason when i shoot this gun i always shoot high so i thought it was just like me not knowing how to shoot properly but after that right there i can guarantee that it is the rifle i was dead on that bird the whole time my first shot you guys saw it, he ducked I, I knew instantly it was I hit high I literally put my crosshair at the bottom of his feet and so I can't find it this is a 10 mile bird guys I hiked a total maybe basically 10 miles today that was probably like a 50 60 yard shot with a 17 okay so first off this thing sucks too did you guys hear how many times it dry fired 